Italian side Bologna are interested in signing Everton striker Beto. Uh, there is no indication at the moment from Everton that they would be willing to sell the striker. Uh, that's come from Alan Myers today. Uh, Beto has been linked with a couple of moves away from Goodison Park this season. The blue striker scored five times in all competitions last season in his debut season in England. He arrived, obviously, without a pre-season under his belt. Uh, he'd been injured during Udinese's pre-season, but he still managed to score before he made his move to Goodison Park. And I think with a better pre-season, well, with a pre-season under his belt this season, he could go on to have a better season for Sean Dyche. Just remember that there's definite interest from Bologna, who, of course, just sold Joshua Zerksy to Manchester United and are looking to replace him. So we'll have to watch that one with interest. Everton today also linked with a move again for Manchester City midfield player Calvin Phillips. That is a loan deal. Everton have been credited with a long-standing interest in the player, but as yet, no deal has been done. Vitaly Mikalenko has been linked with a move away from Goodison Park as Napoli look interested in taking the Ukrainian left-back uh, to be part of Antonio Conte's new look side. Uh, Mikalenko, who picked up an injury at the Euros, he had a couple of good games for Ukraine there, but is currently injured. He hasn't travelled with Evans' squad to Ireland as he continues his rehabilitation from that injury. Uh, I don't think Sean Dyke to be looking to sell Mikalenko this summer Everton need another left back let's be honest they need someone to challenge Michalenko I just don't think the Blues boss would be looking to get rid of Michalenko right now obviously if Napoli come in with a bid Everton can't refuse and the player's interested that could change but I just don't see him being one who leaves Goodison Park this summer uh, on to wins again. Everton have apparently interested in Montpellier and Swiss defender Bacia Omaradzic. Uh, Everton could make an offer soon for the 22-year-old. Uh, 22 that is what uh, the report says today. Also credits a few German sides with being interested in the centre-back uh, last season in league. And he played 28 games, uh, keeping eight clean sheets in the process. Uh, he's one of a list of centre-backs that Everton have been credited with an interest in and that again leads on to what happens with Michael Keane, what happens with Mason Holgate, both of those with Everton and Ireland at the moment, but both tipped to move on this summer. And finally today, Everton released their new home kit for the final season at Goodison Park. Um, I, I like it, let's be honest, I do like it, I think it's, it's a good kit. I understand why people are looking for... Uh, we're looking for a sort of like a commemorative kit. I think that will still happen. I think Everton will still bring one out. But there is a difference between the two kits. There is a textured pro shirt, which is more expensive than the replica shirt. You only get that one if you want to wear the thing playing football each week or whatever. That's a lighter uh, designed kit. It's designed to keep you comfortable. Um, the other kit is a replica kit like people have been buying every single season that is a cheaper one listen are the kits still expensive absolutely they are i wouldn't sit here and, and say any different and as a father i'll be buying them for my lad but they are expensive and i understand people saying you know it's not for me they're too expensive everton not everton clubs in general i think are coming towards that top end of uh where they can you know the price they can charge for kits but as a football kit I, I like it. I think it's quite good. Uh, the Obviously, the goalkeeper kit is a vibrant lime green. I'm sure people have watched the kit reveal video we did as well. But that is a nice kit as well. Both are nice up close. Um, each to their own. Each to their own. But it is available right now. On that pro version kit, it's only available for adults anyway. It's only available for adult men, adult women. You can't get that for kids Um so the replica kit is there. Both everything is available online to buy. It's also available in Everton One and Everton Two, and you can actually buy them in Ireland as well, which is a big plus. Lots of Irish fans have been moaning the fact they were unable to buy Everton stuff over there. Apparently, it is all available. If you're interested in buying it, it's it's available right now to purchase. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you want to become a Toffee TV Premium member, the links in the description. QR codes on the screen now. See you later.